What's up everybody, this is Ben back with another video for Stock Hours here today and today I'm going to be going over a NVIDIA trade where I made around 13-15% to 15 and profited around $500. So to start off with um, going over the trade, I'm going to explain what I did, why I took the trade, what I was looking for, what my plan was, and then I'm going to go over the live footage of me actually executing the trade. It was a fairly quick trade, but... Um, I had a set plan and I knew what I was doing so I got in and out and got a quick good profit so you see we had this like um, this kind of downward channel here on the video here um, I've been watching it on the daily and um, let's see I've been watching this trend right here and I think right here yeah, so you see we're getting pretty close um, to this wedge right here, or downwards channel. Um, I'm looking to see if we bounce here tomorrow um, or whatnot. And then we also have this trend right here that I'm watching in the future. But, so for the video, you see we have this channel right here. Um, the day I played it was right here. So I'll zoom in. It was right here on this candle. Um, I was looking at this 261 level. Um, the video has been showing a little bit of weakness with the market being weak as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove these just to make it a little bit more clear. So the video has shown some weakness here. Um, see we're falling. We had this um, little trend line here. So I was using that as my target. You can see we obviously hit that um, today. Um, and here we, we fell below 260. And actually bounced off 256.55 or 52 yeah and you can see we we didn't close below 260 so we we closed right above 261 and then this pre-market we we bounced off it twice and when I highlight over these candles the low um, it's at the top left up there but it says the low is um 261 right on the dot so both these candles rejected off 261 we broke a little bit here down to 259.75 but we had recovered a little bit that pre-market and we opened up here and i noticed a selling pressure and then i noticed a wall on level two and i took advantage of getting in before the 261 break and then selling on the 60 on the 260 break so only catching around a dollar move um I sold a little bit too early. I could have got another $20, $30 a contract out, but it's all good. You can't perfectly time everything. So now that you guys know why I took the trade, um, you know, the main reason I liked it was because we didn't close below and that we rejected off 261 pre market here. So I'm going to pull up the live video right here. Let's see. All right. So, um, to start the day here, I was actually watching Moderna, um, this 196 and the 195 low, and I wasn't able to, uh, <laughs> you saw how fast that broke, but I wasn't able to play that. Ended up just skipping this trade. I was like, damn, whatever, like it happened way too quickly, and I skipped or flipped over to NVIDIA here. So, so explain what's going on. I have level two right here. So this is where we can watch for 261 on the bid. And then we have the times and sales so we can see the selling pressure step in here. And then over here is my order entry window and you can see the profit and, and stuff here. You can see the fills down here. And then I have a little a bigger time frame chart here but I think I still had it on the one minute um, in this instance. And then up here is NQ so we can see what the market sentiment is um, during the trade. So you can see we're falling pretty aggressively here off the first minute. Um, and I'm just waiting. So if I pause it here, we can look at level two here. And you can see we have 261 down there. I'm trying to get over that as I pop up. But you can see there's around 152 wall right here at 261. So I'm going to be looking to play that. Um, you can see we're very aggressively falling here. Um, and like when I when I replay this, Keep an eye on times and sales and watch the, the sell orders come in. 
So you can see the pressure stepping in and it's flashing, like when it flashes the white and red, that's how we know the cellulars are stepping in. It's getting aggressive here. <clears throat> and we're about 10 cents away. Um, normally I would have probably pulled the trigger and got in right here um, and got a little bit more of an early entry. But due to the fact of how the market's been and you know my trading personal, I've been getting kind of screwed over on getting in too early. So I decided to stay patient. And I wait for 261.04. Um, I saw that. I'm surprised I didn't pull the trigger, but it ends up coming right back down. And that's when I got in. So we see 261 flat. I'm in. You can see up here. So my buy price is 609. So we can see that. And we're falling here. And we're just slowly falling. And so my target on this was the 260 break. And my stop loss was around 262, 262.50. So I was just waiting here. You see, so this is just a patience game. And as this starts falling, um, what we can watch here as well is right here in this section. This is the level two for the contracts. And if you're in the chat, I'm sure you've heard me say... Um, how much I'm an advocate for this because so you, you can see the contract movement and above this is just a separate limit order entry window where I can type in like a set price so as we fell to 260.32 the contracts hit you know around 660 675 so you can see we're aggressively falling to 260 I noticed the peak of the contracts right here is around 685 so I noticed that and we kind of get a little pop here. Yep. So when I noticed that, I went ahead and I set my limit sell right at 2 at 685 and I sold and we broke and then boom, it filled me for my quick um $500 profit. But realistically, I sold that a little too early. I should have waited for the break here and you can see contracts are at 7. I missed out on an extra $15 a contract you know, 15 times seven, you know, extra couple hundred dollars or whatever, but it's all good. Um, let's see. Yeah. So we just, you know, I, I was really happy with myself. Honestly, I didn't want to be the one that played the 260 break and got caught in a bounce because it was kind of a falling knife and you can see NQ was aggressive here, but NQ starts bouncing itself and then so does NVIDIA. So I was, I was really happy with my execution here and you see, we get the bounce. So I ended up playing that really well. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope that was informative. If you have any questions, leave some comments down below. Um, you know, don't be afraid to sell and take profits early like I did here. Um, I was really happy with how I, you know, noticed the contract movement, put my order ahead of time and then took advantage and, and took my profits off the tables there. So once again, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and follow and subscribe, guys. Peace.